All right, let's see where they're going. Oh, they picked Dreamland. Yeah. I don't know if they gentlemen to it or if they stage struck, but in the end, I guess stage striking will lead to that kind of gentleman anyways. So Daniel picking a, seem a new character almost every week. Uh, he's going for Mario this time. Uh, maybe a little inspiration from, uh, from Sheer saying he's the best character in the game. Uh, maybe. Maybe from Mario. Mario winning Dark. All right, yeah, I, Daniel I know. confirmed. He said nothing has to do with that. So I yeah. read with Daniel in the car on the way well, over here. Uh, insider info: Mario did win the weekly uh, last week. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's, I see. I didn't know that's good insider info. Yeah. Now you guys know. Yeah. But uh, Dan just said he was going to go with Mario and Pikachu a lot today, and I like Dan because he tries out a lot of different characters consistently. He just tries to get better with every character so he can get better at fighting every character. I think it's very important for somebody to do that yeah. in the game. Yeah. So um. A lot of games uh, um, that have multiple characters like this, you can actually get better uh, faster by playing a lot of the different characters. Yes, yes. Um, so um, the three Brody brothers, we all played World of Warcraft, and I just got back into it after like three years. Yeah. But um, there, you know, there were like ten characters back in the day, and I felt like just playing one character, you learned a good amount. But when you played like all the different characters, you learned you how really to beat them, and you learned yeah, how what you learned they can their weaknesses. Do. Yeah, and you learn like different tech too. Like yeah, every character has their own tech, which is wonderful. And you can, but you can also learn stuff that like you can kind of open your mind and it apply it to the every other character characters. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, cool. that was yeah. a nice up smash. Um, there so wasn't there wasn't very many places Rusty could go there. He he had the sweet spot, the ledge. Yeah, he, all he had to do is like get the ledge, but he missed the ledge, so yeah. it's pretty it's pretty hard in those situations. But all really Rusty needs is a grab back air. Up tilt, up tilt usually in the back air at this percent, yeah, maybe, right? Um, up tilt's really good against Mario. Um, it's kind of a slow move, but there's not a, Mario's kind of a slow character. And so there's not that much you can do about it. If you can face the opposite way, so if you can pivot beforehand, it makes the up tilt a lot better. Yeah. Obviously, if he keeps... Fa you don't want to be facing Mario as Pikachu. That's, like, the last thing yeah, offensively. Yeah, I had to explain it to our new um, audiences. Yeah. No, I mean, that's <laughs> th honestly, that's... Um, a lot of decent Pikas might not uh, realize it either, but... Um, Pika Pika is very dangerous against Mario when he's facing away from him rather than towards him. Yeah. Because uh, back air just kind of obliterates all of Mario's, Mario's options. Hitboxes. Usually he yep. either he either loses or trades with Pika's back air, and the trade is very rarely favorable. And then of course um, you can make unsafe landings safe by immediately wow, up tilting. Wow! What a sorry to cut you off. What a yeah. great game we got going on. Yeah. Just wow. Very even. Um, Rusty kind of bringing it back here. Um, oh. Daniel grabbed the wrong way. Rusty uh, called him out with that up smash. It was yeah, Rusty kind of surprising. Up I don't know if I agree with that. No, it, um, it's it can be a good mix up, but um, I think you at least had to move before you throw it yeah. instead of just like standing and throwing. Great edge guard from uh, Daniel, but Rusty makes back anyway. See, now that was a beautiful instance of up smash, standing up smash. He makes it work. Rusty proved me yeah. wrong. See, I like the forward tilt from Rusty, but Daniel, um, fortunately, down beat and got the little bit of lift. That was the only thing that saved him from it. Getting uh, some delicate spacing here. I uh, see it. Ooh, again, he called him out with that up smash. Uh, that was the only move that would I feel like would have hit him in that situation too. Again, Man, Rusty with his up smash, he feeling him, and I like him. These are very punishable, but Daniel's getting uh, <coughs> getting caught. Rusty's uh, got uh, got a pretty good read on him with the up smash. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted. To me, oh. You wanted us to play on stream so you can go back later and watch my habits. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Wait, what? Because you like to watch your matches. You're gonna, oh, after, I just after no, tonight I, you're gonna go I, back and watch out what V honest, does. Honestly, V, no, I'm just, I wanted, I'm just yeah, I know, here. but but I wanted to tell you honestly the reason I want to get you on stream is because you haven't been here in a while. Uh, honestly, I really it hurts my soul to not come. Yeah, every I week know. Because I'm like usually the Cal Ripken trying to come here every <laughs> week, but like uh, yeah, just not having a car. It's just and like I. I have the money to buy a car, but I don't want. I haven't seen the deal I've wanted. So yeah. I've got. I'm gonna spend like three to four G's, but just nothing I've seen in that price area yet that I've really knew I yeah. could have used. I've been driving words. like an hour each way each week to get here. It'd be nice if I was a little bit closer. Yeah, like me, I'm like 20 minutes away from here yeah. now. It's not too bad. I used to have to drive an hour like you. Damn. Oh, they, yeah, they're both at very high percentage. Oh, the, know, the get up. Game. Oh, the up smash didn't work, but like Daniel I still can make it back. Um, protect himself with the little fireballs. I think Rusty can just, yeah. That was a good edge guard option from Rusty. Uh, that was a I, ledge burger. I expected him to go out there and try and back air through the fireballs and maybe get an edge guard, but the ledge hog proved to be the best option there.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to get any character switches. The question is, what stage are we going to end up on? Going back to Dreamland. Um, maybe. I feel like Daniel wants to win on Dreamland, but um, we'll see. Yeah, they're going right back to it. Daniel doesn't seem to be a fan of uh, the 19xx stages. I mean, I, I prefer Dreamland only for, like, a, like, true competition. But, you know, at the weeklies, we have opportunity to, like, play around with something, exactly. have a little fun. Exactly. So like, I'm honestly, cool ever since I've been to a major, <coughs> I don't consider these tournaments. I consider this hanging out with my yeah. friends and having a good time. Yeah. Like, well, uh, that's, that's one problem with it is, like, um, nobody here really has Kirby experience, and I want to kind of, like help people train with Kirby like the the only Kirby we've had for a long time is pretty much you I don't count Sud still because he you know he plays but his weird. Kirby's just so unconventional yeah he exactly doesn't help you against any other Kirby exactly so like you you were the only Kirby for a long time and even then you played a lot of Falcon and uh, Fox and whatnot and I want to train and like help people learn Kirby but everyone nobody takes it seriously anymore so yeah um, honestly no uh, it's funny you talk about Kirby because I've just been practicing my tech with a lot of characters and I just recently learned because it's pretty hard to do a Kirby noodle I just learned how to do that, and I was really practicing with, you know, pivot oh. up tilts. So yeah, Cur I feel Kirby's like noodle isn't as hard as Pikachu oh, or Yoshi's. Oh, hell no, or Yoshi's, no way. But I'm saying it's still pretty hard. Yeah, we'll, we're going up next. But, uh, I, yeah, I need to come here more often and play Kirby against everybody more often, I guess. Yeah, man. Um, I've been thinking about going Kirby tonight, but if, like, Daniel's going Mario, and I don't know who Dark Horse is going, I don't know who Shears is going, I, I'm not sure. Um... I might do singles at Pikachu again. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I played only Pikachu, where I only used one use of the B, so it's just a single zip. Um, th it was it wasn't as hard as you think because um, everyone was edge guarding me as if I had two, even though I told them I was only going to use one. Because it's we all have habits, right? So they were just uh, they were covering the wrong options. Ooh, here we go. Uh, Daniel hit him with the strong hit of the up air instead of the weak, but. Rusty with the uh, surprising straight up gets caught by the up smash. And we got a great even game like these yeah. guys. Yeah, you know, these Rusty guys are pretty close. First game, but it is freaking close, guys. Oh, two up smashes. Daniel getting a little thirsty there. I think he wanted the up air the first time, yeah. and I think he was like, "Okay, now I can get the up smash," and then did it again. It didn't work. And Rusty doesn't know what to do there. Um, <laughs> and what I've seen with Daniel, <laughs> especially lately, is he's been getting consistent with Mario jab grab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We Mario's, earlier, Mario's like jab grab. Oh, did you see that plat drop up there? Yeah. That was really nice. That was a great start on that Dude, combo, so and pretty. Daniel finishes off nice and clean. Oh, and that's a difference maker right there. Um, Rusty's going to have to work hard to bring that back. Daniel can take a stock just like that. But so can Pika. Yeah, he's got him off stage. Oh, great back air. It's actually really hard to edge guard Mario. He has either, so the, many either the second or best uh, recovery in the game, and... Um, he just goes out there and reads him like a book. Oh, I think no. Luigi's is better because his down B is higher. No, the Luigi is aerial he can't fast falls. Well, no, his, passes, right? his aerial mobility is so slow. So, like, you know where he's going. Um, he can't move left, right, up, down as quickly as Mario can in the air. Oh, uh, and this could be it for Daniel right here. And uh, he's got Rusty with the quick 2 0. He came back. Uh, I think he's going to make it back. Rusty doesn't know how Come to. Come on! Come on. He doesn't know Don't how to cover Mario. Although, He's covering Mario at the ledge is very hard to do. Uh, and there yeah, we go. That back there is probably going to do it. Those. And Rusty takes it against Daniel. Two to nothing. But both games are super close. Very close set. Very close set.